guys, so what's going on and welcome to day 18 of 22 days of lipstick and for today's video I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Inside Cosmetics Longwear Color Rich Lip Gloss. Now they offer about 12 shades and I have all the 12 shades with me. The foundation shade reference I'm NC40 in MAC. Now before we can get into the description, the lip swatch, the formula, the pros and cons, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever I upload and now let's jump right into the video. Okay, so first let's talk about the features and the claims of this lip gloss. Now it says that it's a lip gloss that delivers a subtle tint as well as a rich intense color. The smooth formula glides effortlessly and stays put for long hours. It comes with an easy to use applicator for precise application. It is available in subtle as well as bold shades. Now these are priced at 81 rupees for 4 ml of product and like I mentioned before they offer about 12 shades. So this is how the packaging looks like which comes in a clear tube as well as a white cap. At the bottom you have is a shade name and number. And this is how the flat doe foot applicator looks like.
All right, so let's talk about the formula and the pros of these lip glosses. Now, out of the 12 shades that they offer, just a quick FYI, one of them is a clear gloss, three of them are like a shimmery gloss, and the rest of them are just a pure creamy gloss finish. Okay, so the formula of these lip glosses, in my personal opinion, these are not like the usual lip gloss that you could expect, because in my head, this is what I mean when I say a lip gloss. But these are more like a very pure creamy gloss the reason is because they are very pigmented and they are very creamy in formula or texture wise now when you apply it you have to apply like a second layer to get the proper glossy finish because if you do apply at the bottom like how i usually do press my lips together then it looks more like a creamy liquid lipstick rather than a gloss so you have to go over with a second layer to get that exact glossy finish and most of the shades, since they are so pigmented, you do not have to use them as a topper. They're just good on its own. Now on that note, just something that I noticed when I initially applied them is that these kind of remind me of the NYX Butter Gloss as well as the new Fenty Cream Gloss. Now to be honest, I do not own the NYX one, neither do I own the Fenty one. But just out of what I've seen uh, online on their swatches and everything, they do look kind of similar. It is like in the similar family of that creamy glossy juicy kind of a formula now the formula of this one is quite thick and it is not that stringy when you press your lips together because some glosses when you press your lips together it has that stringy thing which i absolutely hate it but these are not like that at all now the three shimmery shades that i had mentioned they are not chunky or glittery when you press your lips together it's a very nice finely milled shimmery particles that add that nice shine to your lips and these are not transfer proof at all it will transfer and i do not recommend them over a mask because it will be a mess so yeah it's highly not recommended to wear it with your mask on so this is how it looks like once you have a pretty heavy meal and these last for like a maximum of three to four hours not more than that and initially the top shiny glossy layer kind of comes off and then it looks like a creamy liquid lipsticks and last but not the least these are pretty easy to remove as well i just used wet wipes and they came off pretty easily now coming to the cons the first con is that these are quite tacky on the lips now these are not sticky or it's not like gluey sticky kind of a thing but it's kind of like tacky in my opinion tacky is a little bit less sticky than sticky <laughs> i hope that makes sense so yeah, when you're talking, it does feel like there is something on your lips and it's a little bit tacky. Uh, the second con is that there are no arm swatches available. So I picked these off of Nykaa and on Nykaa as well as on Amazon, I could not find any kind of arm swatches. It is just a picture of the lipstick. That's it. Now the last con, which is not like a big deal breaker, but I wish there were more nude shades. There are a lot of bold, bright shades. Uh, there are very few nude shades. So I wish they had like in that creamy, glossy finish, I wish they had more nude shades. So having said all of these cons, I do still feel that these are worth the price because these are only 81 rupees of 4 ml of product and they have some very beautiful shades as well. So yeah, I do recommend the Inside Cosmetics Long Wear Color Rich Lip Gloss and guys, this wraps today's video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try to visit for you as well as follow me on my socials which is instagram on instagram and instagram on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye